I looked under rocks and logs to see what was hiding underneath of them. These spots are the perfect refuge for animals. They're places that they can regulate their body temperature while hiding away from predators. I maximize my chances of finding something remarkable by visiting a new location every day for five days. Here's what I found. Underneath this first log, I found a few really cool animals. On the left, there's a spotted salamander. It spends most of its life buried deep down underground. On the right, there's a redback salamander, one of the most common I find. I flipped a ton of things during my five days, but I'll only show you guys the ones that had cool animals underneath. And this one is no different. In this creek bed, I found two more salamanders. On the top, there was a redback salamander, and on the bottom, a northern two-line salamander. Nestled deep down in this log, I found another spotted salamander. This time, though, it was a chunky adult. I went ahead and tucked this guy right back in. As the day went on, it felt like every rock or log that I flipped, I was finding a spotted salamander underneath. There's one, two, three spotted salamanders, and there's a slug. But I knew that there was more to find underneath rocks and logs than just salamanders. Day two was warm, and right away I started finding some really interesting wildlife. This weird looking insect is a common walking stick. They eat plants and they have this unique camouflage that makes them look like tree branches. Pretty cool. Under the first log I flipped on day two, I found this American toad. I don't think I've ever found one that looks quite like this one. Its legs were so far apart and made it kind of look goofy. <laughs> Under the next thing, I found another frog. This one is a pickerel frog. Their skin secretes a nasty toxin that makes them dangerous for predators to eat. I found some old tin in the woods and I flipped it to reveal this northern ringneck snake. They do have a venom in their saliva for taking down prey, but they're completely harmless to humans. Under another piece of tin, I found another northern ringneck snake, believe it or not, but this is a completely different snake than the other one. The only way I could tell them apart was that this one had a messed up tail. Day three of five, flipping things in an entirely different location. Underneath this rock, I found a little millipede. This is a cherry millipede. They secrete cyanide, so don't lick your hands after you pick one up. Not just because of the cyanide, but also because that's disgusting. Why would you do that? Underneath the next rock, I found this little frog. Nope. And this dusky salamander. And that's all I found on day three. After flipping this rock on day four, I found something really cool. This is a blue margined ground beetle. And they have those big pinchers for taking down prey that can cause a nasty pinch. I kept my fingers far away. The only other animal I found on day four was this chipmunk. Kind of disappointing because I drove two hours to get here. The title of king is reserved for only the most exceptional animals. The lion, the king of the jungle, represents raw power and reigns as the mightiest beast in Africa. King crabs, the largest and most prized of their kind, are a meal fit for royalty. And in Southeast Asia, the king cobra earns its name as a fearsome predator, even eating other snakes. A behavior known as a pheophagy. They are a true ruler of reptiles. Here in North America, on the complete opposite side of the planet, we have our own snake royalty. A genus named Lampropeltis, or commonly referred to as the snake eaters. Since I haven't been finding that many snakes up until this point, what better species to target than the king? So for my final day, I'm flipping rocks deep in king snake territory. No king snake under this rock, but I did find these eggs. Unfortunately, these babies were nowhere to be found. However, under a rock, I did find this baby, a smooth earth snake. Just like the salamanders from day one, these snakes spend a lot of time down underground, so it's always awesome when I get to see one. Underneath this piece of plywood, I found an eastern newt. They're sometimes called red spotted newts because they have those red spots on their back. This one's a juvenile. I also found this northern ringneck snake under another piece of plywood. And underneath this next rock, I found an old paper wasp nest. Glad those things are long gone. The next rock was hiding this little brown skink. I tried to catch it, but this little lizard was just too fast. Flipped another rock, and underneath this one, there were more eggs. Also empty, very unfortunate. I stumbled across this little pond out in the middle of the woods. I was keeping my eyes peeled for any king snakes because it wouldn't be that unheard of to find one around this type of habitat. I noticed down in the water that there was something moving around. It's a little newt right there. 
That's when I realized that this pond was completely filled with red spotted newts. Flipped another piece of plywood and found another two line salamander. After finding another unassuming piece of plywood in the middle of the woods, I flipped it and underneath I found something truly remarkable. Oh my god. This is an eastern black king snake. It doesn't happen that often, but I actually managed to find the species that I was targeting. And this one was an absolutely beautiful example of this species. Since they're a king snake, they will eat other snakes even if they are venomous. So this is definitely a snake you want to keep around. I took some photos of the snake and although I was super excited, I kept the interaction short. I was putting the snake back right where I found it as I do always, and that's when I realized that if you liked this video, you might like another one. Check it out here.